Hi everybody and welcome to another Ask a Zookeeper community questions. These are questions that you wrote in with and we're going to try to answer them today. To start, Parrots, Dogs, and Texas writes in, Why do birds love rocks? And do birds like eagles eat rocks? So there's an interesting fact about birds here. Birds have an organ called a gizzard and it's just after their stomach. It's a muscular pouch and they can fill it with rocks because if you haven't noticed, birds don't have teeth. So they can swallow gravel or rocks or other things and then as they uh, swallow their food, it goes into that gizzard, which is a muscular pouch, and it gets massaged around with the rocks in that pouch, which is the equivalent of chewing because birds can't chew otherwise. Good question. Parrots, Dogs, in Texas also writes, do parrots get affected by hormones? And the answer is totally yes. They still use hormones the same way we do. They use it to signal the seasons or other changes that their bodies might be going through. John Longenecker also writes in asking, bird vision. Lots of birds have their eyes on the sides of their heads. To me, it looks like birds have two separate images to look at. Please explain what you know about the images birds see. John, I did some research and it's really cool. That was a good question. So prey species do tend to have eyes on the sides of their heads and predator species do tend to have eyes on the front, which means that if a prey bird is focusing on you, it will probably turn its head to the side and look at you with one eye because the vision in the center of their eye is better than vision at the edges, which if you think about it, eyes on the side of their head, they're looking at you with the side of their vision. So to focus clearly on you, they actually turn to the side and focus with one eye at a time. But that does pose a problem because if they have two eyes looking at two different things, their brains aren't able to combine the images to form stereo vision or binocular vision the way, we've, uh, the way we can. Rakesh Kujur writes in, How many kinds of beaks, sir? Please add the video. Well, Rakesh, I tried to look this up and it turns out that a list of types of beak tends to look a lot like a list of species. There's so much variation in the amount of ways that animals have found to live that there's not always a way to categorize them into distinct categories. One article did actually try to do that and they had 16 different categories but some of those categories only had one bird in them, like the pelican where it has that big throat pouch and it dip nets. Or there's also the skimmer where it skims along the surface of the water with its lower beak trailing in the water and it feels for fish colliding with its lower beak and that's how it knows to catch them. Um, there's only a couple of birds that do either of those things, so it counts as a category because it's an interesting type, but it's uh, not very common at all. But in general terms, Rakesh, 16. John 2023 writes, I'm really new to the channel, but can you make a vid about the vision of an owl? I heard they are different. I wasn't sure that the vision of an owl would be any different, but it turns out they are. Um, owls have fixed eyes, they can't uh, turn them at all, and the eyes are so long and so big that they actually are shaped like tubes, and that lets in a lot more light and they have huge retinas compared to similarly sized birds. But the real trick of their vision doesn't come from their optical hardware, it comes from their neural processing. They have extra brain matter that's specifically adapted to image processing from their large retinas. And this extra image processing would only work because their retinas are so large and there's so much information coming in. But the, the sensitivity of their retinas isn't what makes the difference, it's the extra processing uh, in their software, as it were. One last question comes from Alpha Centauri. Very useful information, Biobush, but I have a question. What is the Rybill beak used for? Because it's bent to the right and it looks so weird. So the Rybill is native to New Zealand and it's got a beak that curves 15 degrees to the right at the end of the beak. The leading theory right now is that they use that beak to pry up stones and, and eat whatever crawls out from underneath the stones. But uh, based on what I know about how beaks grow, beaks can't do that. Um, but the rye bill is proving me wrong. So I have more questions now than I have answers because the rye bill looks impossible to me, but it's right there for everyone to see. So uh, thanks for introducing me to a new species, Alpha Centauri. I appreciate it. 
That wraps up our Ask a Zookeeper community questions. If you have any questions about birds, please write in. I really feel that if you have any questions about birds, you shouldn't have to turn to a Google search. You can ask your friends, or if you don't have any friends that are giant bird nerds, I will be your bird nerd friend. I'm happy to provide you any information I'm able to find. Thanks for tuning in again this week to learn what makes life awesome.